hey guys and welcome to my channel last weekend was lit with lots of weddings we had the wedding of celebrity writer dami elebe which attracted lots of your favorite superstars Damia Lebe is known for her love for romantic movies, series she has she wrote with love from Lagos, The Men's Club, and I think two or three seasons of Skinny Girl in Transit. Dami Elebe is a fantastic writer. She is oh she also served as head writer for the popular series Netflix series Far From Home, and the entire Far From Home crew were present. Here you can see Sharon Oja and Enado. You know what? The same Dami Elebe also wrote season two of Showmax Flossom. She is super amazing. And guys, I know you will enjoy this video. She is full of so much energy. She didn't disappoint at all. The energy was right. People who were at this event had a great time. Let's get started. So here we have Bisola and her girls, Sharon Oja and Sharon Oja's big sister, Enne. We have Bisola and a chef and here we have Bisola and her girls. For those of you who are not aware, Sharon Oja is set to wed later in June 2024. Bye. Bye. Sharon Oja is the happiest bride to be. She calls her husband Odogu Silencer. I've been Odogu Dispenser. I think Odogu Silencer because she said the man came into her life and silenced every doubt she ever ever had. He has been married two or three times. Land he he lives in America in his 50s. I really can't wait for her big day. Sharon is one stylish girl and I know she is going to be such a beautiful bride. Isola and Enado are very funny. I wanna take you home. Take me there. I wanna squeeze you. I pray and hope Bisola finds love soon. I'm a piano, piano. It's a big vibe. But so we have the beautiful Bisola and Sharon Oja's sister, Ene Sophia Oja Eguribe. So here we have Dami Lebe, her husband and the priest. I know Dami isn't from a Catholic background because some time ago she asked a question on Twitter about um, cat kissing and I was like, I wonder why she wants to convert to be very honest. But I can see that love made her do so. Come 
come in, then they shout hallelujah. Every day, it be like a new year. So here we have the emotional moment the bride had with her mom who was seen shedding tears of joy. So I would like to know, have you ever caught a bouquet at a wedding? Now, now spread it. Spread it. Spread it. So whenever I attend weddings, I don't participate in this activity. And people are like, oh, go out. You might catch the bouquet because, boy, I don't know how to struggle for things. And I know that people take this activity really seriously. Like, people act like truly catching the bouquet automatically means you would get married. But it doesn't work that way. A friend shared how she attended the wedding. She caught the bouquet and one girl just lay on hand took away the bouquet. Even when the MC tried so hard to let the girl you know, to tell the girl to let go, the girl didn't agree. So my friend said that was how she told them, I beg, since it's so important, let me leave it for her. In the end, if it's meant to be, it is definitely meant to be. Like, I don't believe the bouquet changes anything. Dami is such a romantic, who would have thought? But anyway, have you seen her movies? Ah, she sabi write love stories, no be small low. Like this lady will make you I don't know how her mind works. Like look at Amino's character in the men's club, look at um, um Ayola's character and skinny girl in transit. She is fantastic. <laughs> For the after party, Dami did not come to play. We have Michelle Dede and the bride. Dami Elebe recently embarked on a weight loss journey. She she has always shared her journey on Instagram and I think she has she's doing so well. If she's able to keep it up, she might not need a bypass. So tell me your favorite Dami Elebe project. Is it far from home? TMC series? So here we have Dami and Emeka. So officially, Dami is now our wife. Mado. And you know what? Another time, in fact, I should have suspected because one time she talked about how her boyfriend bought a pear, pear and corn for her and she didn't like the combination. <laughs> I was like, ah, this girl, is she with an evil man? But it didn't really, I didn't really think through it. I just felt, um, pear and corn local like local pear and corn is like a staple in nigeria i didn't know it was like an Igbo thing Tammy is a bad girl though. but it's the scream for me anyway this wedding it is rated 18 years The people I was expecting to see at this wedding, surprisingly, they didn't make it like Efa Iwara, Daniel Etim, Efiong, and I think maybe Kule, nah, not Kule Rimisha. But then Dami is not so much of an extrovert, she hardly attends events, so I guess maybe that's why. Their wedding hashtag was hashtag six to forever. I don't know what that means, maybe they dated for six years.
Good evening, Ashley. My heart is so... Adekule was also present. So from Society Hotspot, I would say a hearty congratulations to Dami Elebe and her husband Emeka. We wish them a super happy married life. May their marriage be blessed. May they have so much joy and laughter. And may they be able to weather the storm. And boy, welcome to Ali, my darling dami eleve i can't wait for you to celebrate 10 15 20 30 40 50 60 forever baby girl they want to know more that was hot and i heard they were just doing it anywhere Tammy and her husband need to get a room or Jerry. Hey, congratulations to the couple, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye. Hey,